Hey guys, today I'm gonna be showing you how to recreate this sexy sultry look in just a few quick and easy steps. As usual, we're gonna start with the base. For this look, I'm gonna be using my L'Oreal True Match Liquid Foundation and this shade is in Gold Porcelain. And we're just gonna dab this around with a big fluffy brush. Blending it in as you go. And then we're gonna matte out our face with a little bit of concealer. For concealer, we're going to be using the Fenty Beauty Match Sticks and the shade is in Maple. And we're just going to apply this to the areas that needs just a little bit of brightening up. This concealer is very lightweight and it also helps to mattify the face. So that's why I won't be using any setting powder for this look. Just make sure to blend it out until you have the perfect base. For this look, I want my brows to look as natural as possible. So I'd be using the color Pop Brow Boss and this shade is in dark brown. I like this brow pencil because it fills in the gaps with just a few strokes and you already have full looking brows. It also has a built-in spoolie, so just a little bit of brush and you're good to go. In order to have longer lasting brows, I usually like to set my brows with brow gel. I'm gonna set my brows with the MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Brow Set. This just helps keep the brows in place and also last the whole day. Now time for a little bit of shadow play. For this look, I'd be using my NYX Cosmetics Palette. It's built in with 3 matte shades and 7 metallics. The first shade we're gonna be using is the matte brown and we're just gonna fill in the crease. For the center of the lid, I'll be using the sandy brown color. It's Koi from the ColourPop Cosmetics Press Eyeshadows. And we're just gonna fill in from the center of the lids, blending it outwards. Going back to the NYX Perfect Filter Palette, we're gonna be using this metallic bronze shade. This is to make our eyes a little bit more flattering. And we're just gonna dab this all over the middle of our lids. For this look, I'd be lining my eyes with a darker eyeshadow. So I'm going to be using Roundhouse from the ColourPop Cosmetics Press Shadows. The shade is in Roundhouse. It's a very deep brown. We're just going to be using a liner brush. And from the middle of our lids, we're just going to be lining it outwards, creating a little bit of a wing. Then we're going to add the same color on our waterline. Make sure to only apply into the middle. And lastly, we're going to be blending everything in with a bigger blending brush. To have that dramatic, sexy eye look, I'm going to be applying fake eyelashes. I usually like my fake eyelashes just a little bit longer than my normal lashes. And I also want this look to be a bit more natural. So as usual, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Volume Express Mascara. We're just going to be applying this along with the fake eyelashes. And also just a little bit on our lower lashes. Finally, the eyes are done. Now we're just going to do a little bit of soft contouring. And for this, I'm going to be using my ColourPop Sculpting Sticks. This shade is in New Renaissance. Just a simple contour for this look. Just line the nose. A little bit on the forehead. Shape up those cheeks. And make sure to blend in. The key to a perfect contour is the blending. I won't be using a blush for this look. I love highlighters. And for this, I'm going to be using my I Like Your Face Highlighter Palette from ColourPop. First, I'm going to be using the shade Bigger and Better. This one is more of a pale bronze color with dark gold shimmer. And for the high points of the cheeks, I like to use Bottomless. This is my favorite shade out of all. It's a very light tangerine with yellow shimmer and it gives me that really, really gold look. Lastly, you guessed it, the lips. I wanted to go for a very dramatic lip color. So for this look, I decided to use my ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip and this shade is in Lax. We're just gonna apply a little amount on our bottom lip as well as our top lip. Then I'll be using my finger to smudge this all over my lips. 
giving my lips a very soft, berry look. Kissable, I should say. Lastly, I really want to look glowy, so I'm going to be using my Victoria's Secret Metallic Glow. This is a lip shine in the shade of rose gold. We're just going to dab a little bit of amount on the center of our lips. Spread it all over and voila! I hope you guys like this tutorial. Let me know in the comments below if you want any other tutorials. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and follow me in all of my social media links. All the links are down below and I guess I'll see you next time.